A quality heat pump installation requires a correct balance point calculation, which will be used to accurately size backup resistance heat. It's important to properly size and control backup resistance heating equipment in order to achieve optimum performance, lower energy bills, and reduce callbacks. The balance point is a critical factor in equipment selection, as it is the point where the capacity delivered by the heat pump meets the energy load of the home. Any temperature below this point will require supplementary heat, either backup electric resistance, a gas furnace, wood, or another heat source to meet the home's heating needs and provide optimal comfort for residents. So, how do you determine the balance point? First, you need to determine the load line for the home. To determine the load of the home, conduct a load calculation and draw a line between the load at the design temperature and the zero load point. This will show that the home's load increases as the output temperature decreases. Depending on whether the house has undergone effective air sealing, this line might be steeper or more gradual. Then, take the available capacity of the heat pump from manufacturer performance data and draw the capacity line of the heat pump. Where these two lines intersect is the balance point. An appropriate balance point will depend on the turndown capacity of the equipment selected, energy prices, and the home's load. We recommended a maximum balance point of 35 degrees Fahrenheit to minimize electric resistance use. In many cases, selecting a balance point below 35 degrees will optimize performance. Why is balance point so important? The balance point will determine the amount of backup heating energy used by the resident and will depend on the specific equipment you've selected. Note that many of today's heat pumps are capable of meeting a home's full heating load without supplemental heat in every part of the lower 48 states, including very cold climates, but proper selection is key. Here's an example for the same home with two different heat pumps. For the first heat pump, the balance point is 6 degrees and the annual supplemental heating is almost zero. However, we have now oversized the equipment and it is more likely to short cycle throughout much of the year. On the second heat pump, the thermal balance point is 11 degrees, which is a better fit for the geographic location because despite meeting some resistance backup heat, the equipment operates without short cycling for more of the year. Electric resistance backup heat should not exceed 125% of design load. Once you've selected and installed the equipment, ensure you've properly programmed the controls so that you don't get electric resistance backup heat kicking on when it's not necessary. Backup heat should be locked out, meaning it's not able to come on above the balance point, and the compressor lockout, if used, should be no higher than 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Contact your Comfort Ready Home Field Specialist today with questions or to find out where you can learn more.